fashion as opposed to running away from it all the time. Yeah. You know, of course, horses are, are uh, flight animals. You know, so of course they want to run away from problems or run <coughs> towards whatever it is that they're stimulated from. So if you can get her to wait, you're able to then push her forward under control. Whereas sometimes when she goes forward, her head's all over the place. So, you know, we are talking a little bit earlier about it. If you haven't got a steering wheel, you can't steer your car. And if you haven't got an accelerator, you can't go forward. And if you haven't got a brake, you can't stop. So really think, as mundane as that, can you stop, can you start, and can you steer? And when you've got that under control, then you can start to then move her about the place in some sort of organised way. Whereas what she wants to do is just go with accelerator and speed. Okay, comes in again, round in the neck, good, super. Fifteen steps of Piaf at five, five years old is good. Well done, and that's a nice combination there of impulsion and suppleness. And this is what we want to create a nice elastic trot. And this is what I want to think over the winter that you're going to start to do. It's less of a scurry, more of a flurry. Yeah, that she's got to get more off the ground, she's got to use her back more. And by teaching her to go in a slower rhythm, that's what you're going to then start to get, is more swing through her back and get her to use her, <coughs> get her, to use her whole body as opposed to her legs or her back independently. You want both at once. Super there. Well done. Yeah, don't worry, don't panic, don't panic. Just take a breath and walk on again. That's it. She's challenging you. You don't need to be emotional about her. Take your leg off and then say go forward again, you little bugger. That's it. Remember, she's thick. If she was brighter than you, you wouldn't be allowed to ride her. Just stand. Just stand. Just ignore her. Ignore her. It's a strop. It doesn't even require any mental effort. That's it. Now walk on again. Whereas if you start kicking her, then she's like, I'm going to kick you, I'm going to kick you. You give her a reason to kick out, yeah? yeah? Just take a breath and say, right, you go when you're ready. Exactly the same as if she came into a ditch and she's backing off. The more you kick, the more she'll back off. So flex the neck inside, disenable that brace, and then go forward again. Okay, I do like your hat up there, don't you? That's expected of her. The judge certainly won't know about it, will they? So all they'll be seeing now is that she's a little bit against the hand, a little bit inconsistent in the contact. Now, and that's the frustrating thing, I think, sometimes when we go competing, because the judge, of course, doesn't know what we've dealt with in the past but nor should they. So you've got to see, right, now you're starting to train her. Now you've actually got her in school, and she's not walking out the front door. <laughs> you, have to, you have to train it. Good. So second, now you're in character. Second most important thing is that she understands to accept the bit. And then the third most important thing is that she stays in character. So when you ask her to come round her, I don't mind it, Initially, if she goes round in the neck and goes to trot, what I do mind is that she doesn't go round and falls to trot. So you allow her the condition that she could trot because obviously you're taking a balance mechanism away when you make a round up. That's absolutely fine. No, but, but I, I, I would sympathise being a young horse with her for trotting at that moment. And that's what we've got to sort of think that we build on. Because there's certain things you've always got to think that you'll accept and certain things that you won't accept. So when you're asking her to be on the bit, the worst thing that can happen is that she doesn't put her head down. As much as when you ask her to canter, the worst thing that can happen is that she doesn't go. Good. Good. And then start to manage the ratio between impulsion and roundness and then you'll get a good connection. So it's a bit balancing the clutch of the accelerator. Sometimes you'll get too much spread of energy and lose the roundness. Sometimes you'll get too much roundness and lose the energy. It's having 50-50. Good. And then when you've got that in the working can, to then start to develop a little bit back towards collection for a couple of strides and then forward again. Whacker! You know, but be dynamic about it, like, woo! So she's a bit, oh my God, what's going on? It's not actually how hard you hear it, it's how you do it. It's got to be a bit flamboyant. That's it, and then off to counter again. Sit and push. Good. Now round. Good. Relax your leg. And then if she... No, no, no. That's it, yeah. That's it. Don't worry. Like, relax your leg. Good. 
Now rain <laughs> Now she's coming. You feel that? That's why I was doing McDonald's. You take your leg off, <gasps> that could mean a kick. But actually all you're doing is taking your leg off. You know, but if they don't react to it, that's when they get the kick. Good there. So what you, you are conditioning her to do is to respond to a name by taking the leg away. You know, and in the fluffy bunny scheme of it all, that's a gorgeous thing to do, isn't it? Oh, I just lighten my leg and off she goes. How romantic. <laughs> Good, now round. Round up. Yeah, that's it. Good. So that wasn't convincing enough. That's why I said it twice. Good. So the moment you take on the rain, whoop, straight down. That's right, yeah. so find that moment again. But when she's pulling me out of the solid. Let go. It takes okay. two to pull. You pull back at her, she'll pull back at you. If you give the rain her, she can't pull you, can she? Let go. Leg, leg. Yes. So this is training, yeah. Good, good. Nice and quiet again. Hands forward. Good. And leg, and leg. Yeah. So you give the rain she falls to chart, that's telling me that she's using the rain to balance on. Whereas actually she should be pushing. Her bouté. There you go, give the rain. Good. Good. There. Yes. So important that she learns self-balance as well, yeah? Good. So you're not going to sort of hold her head down. Out of the circle. Five strides of shoulder in right. So just do it. Good, 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 good. And straight, and straight, and straight. And if you kick her that hard, she should be bolted. Yeah? Of course she's going to back off its hard at shoulder in. Don't attack her. If she stops, then attack her. You, you're telling her off to do something she hasn't actually done yet. Because you can feel it. Let it go to shit, and then sort it out. <laughs> Oh, 11. <laughs> yeah, another circle again. If she can't do a 10 meter circle, she ain't hell gonna do a shoulder in. Yeah, good. Now you've got the response for it. Now you sit quiet, sit quiet. Yeah, you gave her three more kicks after she actually went forward there. I wouldn't go forward if I was her. Good, nice straight. Now make her back on the bit again. So all that's going wrong in the shoulder in is that she's not on the bit. Then she goes behind your leg, then she loses the angle. So just think now about making her more on the bit, not panicking. It's just shoulder in. It's no more complicated than the circle. Yeah, but do the circle first. That's why we do the circle first. So make sure if you can ride the 10 meter circle, you'll be able to ride the shoulder in. Yeah. If you feel as though she's behind your leg in the corner. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, those dainty little legs are sitting quiet. Good. Rhythm. 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 Yeah, impulsion is not speed. Impulsion is reps. On the bit, on the bit, on the bit. Straight, straight, straight. Only five straight shoulder in. Yeah, well, you're too bloody slow. That's your bloody problem. You can't wait to halfway down the shoulder in to get the mark. It starts at the marker, so change from the start. Sorry, sorry, I told you so. I can't do the water train until fence six. Could you just change the course? Yeah? Ball up. <laughs> Another one at M. 10 meters up. You've got this ground line, the 10 meter circle, so you should be thinking about the on the bit there, dear. On the bit, yeah, she's almost in roll curl, that's fantastic. Don't kick, don't kick, she hasn't stopped yet. Trust her, otherwise she won't trust you. Ready? On the bit, on the bit, on the bit, on the bit. Straight, perfecto! Oh, Jessica, 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 lazy bones. Focus, dear, just focus and you'll get there. Change the room, your fingers. And straight. Yes, relax, relax, she's still going. God, yes. I wouldn't like to go to yes. car with you. Yes, here. and straight. Whoop, whoop. Good. It doesn't have to be a mat, you know, from going from your circle and you're on the bit on the long side to going to shoulder in is not a major deal. It is a major deal if it's in hole and off the bit and rearing. Yes, granted. But she haven't got to that stage yet, have we? 
We haven't given her opportunity to do that. On the bit, on the bit, on the bit, on the bit. Straight. Good. For five years old, that's super. We've got to condition you as well. You don't have to try. You just 